on the topic of uh, laser cut terrain, we're, we're sticking with that. Um, Sarissa have uh, some new burrows and badgers terrain. Ben, <laughs> <laughs> I had to be here, Ben. Yeah, so the guys at Sarissa have joined forces with Ice Wall Miniatures, and they've put together a really nice uh, packet of terrain for you to go and check out for the users in the world of Burrows and Badgers. I was lucky enough to get a couple of these kits in myself, so I'm hopefully going to be building those over the next week and sort of putting them together and showing off what I can do with the painting. Are you going to open yeah, a project for that? I'm going to put together, I'm going to add it to my existing project for Burrows and Badgers, so you'll be able to see my progress of building it and trying MDF terrain for the first time, because I've never actually built any of it before, so not touched any foreground, nothing like that, so this is going to be a first time for me, which would be really cool, but um, right. the yeah. one thing I wanted to ask is actually, do I put it together with wood glue or super glue? PVA. PVA glue. Well, okay. What's PVA. the difference between PVA and wood glue? It's pretty much the same stuff. Oh, okay, right. Yeah, okay. yeah so, but you want a nice, thick... PVA. Yeah. Right. Um, yeah. If, if you get a chance, um, mm. we might have it. Uh, the, the best PVA in the world for this is actually the foreground yeah. version of the PVA. Oh, okay. there's, right. there's a technique that I use for this, Ben, that might be very useful for you. I'll take a little bit of super glue and actually do like a tack weld and then do a line of the PVA in behind. Yeah. So you use right. a combination okay. of the two. Yeah. 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 So you basically, it gets you that rigidity because sometimes PVA can take ages to dry. Yes. So if you actually mm. get the component into the position you want, just put three, four little dots just down the line of it. Mm. That tack welds it, and then you just get a good lining of glue down it, and you're golden. Yeah, and you perfect. Some nice tips. Yeah, you're relying <laughs> on a. There's a name for that. Whenever you do a line of glue across a line, and the glue gets kind of sucked into the the, yeah. the hole, there's a name for this particular kind of effect. Mm. But it's um, well, it, because... it's used by plastic glues on model kits and all sorts of things, so it well, should work weld. well. Mm. Yeah, but I mean, but yeah. uh, sorry, yeah, uh, there, there is a very. It, I... <laughs> I was just going to say that yes, this this train here that I'm hoping to be working on comes in those two different bundles that you can see, uh, but all of the different pieces are going to be available separately as well no, over on both the Oswald Miniatures like web seeing. store and on the Sarissa one as well. So. No, these these are supplied unbuilt and unpainted. Right. Unbuilt what, and unpainted. Yeah, yes. what, what, there, what, there's been some debate over this, so it's, yeah. it will make it absolutely clear. These do come uh, unbuilt, unpainted. So you, yeah. you you paint them up yourself, which to be fair, is not you know it's not not such a big issue because. You know, a gaming table for... I can't imagine a gaming table for Burrows and Badgers being that big, Ben. It's it's three by three. So there you go. Man. Yeah. But I have got to say, I am dying to get a game of this on with you next time you're <laughs> over. Uh, hearing everything you've said about it, I really want to try it myself. I really like the look of the terrain for um, Lord of the Rings as yeah, well. Yeah, that would work very well. Yeah. for that, yeah. Um, it, whenever you get it built, Ben, if you can uh, take some photographs of it with your Lord of the Rings minis beside Definitely. it so as we can get a look at it for scale, but... You know, I, I think it's I think it's a lovely looking building. Yeah, yeah look, well, here's a here's a challenge for you, Ben. Actually, mm -hmm. do one of the buildings, prime it on the frame, mm -hmm. and actually prime a couple of different colors and see how that actually works out. Because I think you could prime this on the frame, build it, and have it pretty much pre-colored once you actually build it together. That's a cool idea. I might have to give that a go. Maybe. Um, as long as you're yeah. not too heavy, I think you should be fine. Yeah. One of the, one of the interesting things I'm going to try out is actually I've got one of the smaller buildings, but I'm going to do it with a almost moss grass roof. So mm. it's going to have that kind of hobbity, shireish feel to it, uh, rather than it just being this normal sort of wooden slats. So I'm going to see whether or not that works. Uh, but then I've also got two of the bigger buildings as well to work on. So I've got the, I think I've got the the tavern, and uh, or maybe not the tavern. I think it's the tavern and one of the big um, grand halls as well. So that's going to be really cool to see how that cool. comes together.